As a photographer, I get very excited when it comes to lighting situations, style of clothing, location, and pulling all of that together to create an image. Having the opportunity to finally meet Curtis and put him in front of my camera in wherever we were in Italy just sounded like a really fun way to spend an entire day. I'd never get tired of shooting. I love being creative and having someone in front of my camera that also, as we would say, loves the camera, doesn't mind having their photo taken, kind of works with me is a very exciting uh, endeavor and creative outlet for me. Our sightseeing tour around Florence has seemed to turn into a, a photo shoot. Of course. <laughs> I work on location, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, look at this lighting. It is just, I know. it's so, so beautiful. It's perfect. Yeah. And I have a beautiful model to photograph, so. I have a beautiful model to photograph. <laughs> when I'm photographing people, I prefer to shoot them with natural lighting and to try and enhance the image of the person using the setting that we're in while also trying to do something a little different, a little creative. Um, in one shot we went to a cafe and I actually put the camera on a low shutter speed and moved it away, creating a wispy effect around our set. Everywhere in Florence was so beautiful. It's so different from here in the United States. And so when I would see him, I would like ask him to go over and stand in a certain place or walk a certain place and I would see how the light was coming through and the color of his clothes and the color of the buildings and it all just naturally seemed to kind of pull together. Because the lighting was harsh some of the posing and things had to be done in a certain way so that you didn't end up with shadows across the eyes um, kind of shading them. So I would have him turn his face into the sun, closing his eyes, um, holding his hands up to the sun so that we had some more dynamic poses. But they weren't really like all of the kinds of images that I had in mind for Curtis. For Osset's pictures, I wanted her to really be part of the natural setting. So I placed the sun behind her, creating a really great glowing effect with the contrast of colors with the blue and the red orangey color of her dress, really making a beautiful naturalistic image. During the harsh lighting time frame, we decided to go down into the creek area because we were desperately searching for even lighting situation. When you get under the trees, you'll have mottling, light and shadow, light and shadow, and gives kind of a speckled effect. And so it's hard to work with that sometimes, but it can also be interesting to work with that, to just allow it to be and to create something artistic. Osset really is a nature lover, so I wanted to have her emerged within the environment around her. So playing with the natural light in the forest, with the greens of the vines behind her, really brought out her natural side. I really wanted to create an ethereal image with Osset, so I took her down to the lake at 
the height of the day, 12 p.m., with the sun right above us to create a beautiful bouquet effect on the water when the water was blurry in the background and the sun coming through some beautiful glowing material with the wind blowing and I'm really happy with the results that I got from that, that image. So that evening we went out into the olive groves and that is where I got very excited because the light was exactly the way that I wanted it to be. It was filtering through the olive leaves exactly the way it needed to and it just created some beautiful magical light behind him that we could play with um, filtering in through the trees giving it a, a softer feel and if you'll notice also the clothing that he was wearing was a softer feel with the scarf and the softer uh, fabric on his shirt so um, and it was interesting that he had the stripes you know on both of those things so they were going opposite directions at times which also kind of created some interesting visuals You want to try a new technique on me? Yes, it's it's not new to me, but um, I really love doing some double exposures in camera. Okay. It's a way to give a little bit of a different look and feel to an image, and um, it's, it's different, so you so, can have a lot of fun with that. It's like two pictures of the same person in one frame without photoshopping. Right, it's two pictures, like it's like if you had film, um, and there are clubs that do this, like you shoot a whole roll of film and then like you would send it to someone and then they would shoot that same roll of film. So you don't know what's on there okay. and you then end up with a roll that's double exposed. Let's and do it. So here's an example of an in-camera double exposure where I took a photo of you and then I took a photo of the, the leaves up against the sky. did one where there's a few like there's two of two you. of you yeah <laughs> that's so interesting mm -hmm. wow, okay. I need to learn how to do that yeah not all cameras have that setting but it's a lot of fun